In Europe, sustainable and inclusive growth must be built on sound finances. Fiscal consolidation and structural reform are essential for growth. Consolidation is necessary for confidence, and without confidence, there will be no growth. In fact, today, we have already have an agreement on some of the most important orientations in terms of economic governance in Europe, and I have announced that the Commission is ready to further fast-track its work with more detailed proposals on the 30th of June and more other proposals by September. We believe it is important to conclude this work as soon as possible so that we can have a new system ready for beginning of uh, next year. I have also called on Member States and the European Parliament to reach agreement on the Commission's financial supervision package by the summer. Uh, all parties need to show flexibility. We cannot afford delay in putting an effective supervision system in place. I look forward to progress in the coming days. I also believe that the mandate agreed today gives us a clear and united European position for the G20. We are sending a clear signal to citizens and to the markets and also to our partners. We will consolidate our budgets, reduce our debt, without strangling our economies and putting people's well-being at risk. And we hope to see the same degree of determination from our global partners. We have decided to come together to the G20 with a position on bank levies and also with a, a proposal for the introduction of a global financial transaction tax that should be explored and developed further in the overall efforts. As I want also to congratulate Estonia. Estonia has met the criteria for joining the euro and also to express my um, satisfaction with the fact that it was very much welcomed by the European Council, our opinion on the Iceland request for membership to the European Union. Today, the European Council has rolled up its sleeves and show we can act together when there is a joint political will by the member states and the European institutions. 